Yeah. And after the first stop in Gasol, we head over to our welcome center, which I do believe we will be getting a lunch break. Uh, so what will happen is, I'm not sure yet, but once we get there, I'll explain to you everything that's going to happen. If, uh, if we are going to get a lunch, no worries. We're going to be able to transfer you to a bus ahead of us, and that will continue on its tour. But uh, we'll just make sure once we get there. But for the time being, I'll explain to you how Gastown received its name. So in 1867, before anyone came here to settle uh, or to you know create a city of any sort, this was all a forest. So these were all trees lining around the uh, this area of town, all, all around Vancouver, all around British Columbia, I would say. Now there were uh, there were a couple gentlemen located around the lumber mills, uh, sorry, the uh, waterfront, and they were working the lumber mills. So there's about 20 or 30 gentlemen that were working along the waterfront, the lumber mills, and those were the only buildings in town in sight. Sorry, uh, the nearest uh, housing or restaurants or bars or anything was about 15 miles out in direction. Now, for hard-working lumber mill workers, you need to something. You need something to, to get you going a little bit, and that is where ja, a man named Jack Dayton comes in. So, Jack Dayton was a man from the British Empire, and he came overseas with a whiskey barrel, and that was it. He came over with a, with a full whiskey barrel, and uh, he knew this was a prime location to settle. He knew that this was very close to the West Coast, so you could do a lot of fishing, a lot of lumber. You could also, uh, there was a prime location just because you're very close to the American border. So uh, it, it was a great location to actually create a settlement. So he came overseas, he said, uh, came up to the lumber mill workers, and uh, he needed a place to live. Simple as that. Jack Dayton needed a place to live. Lumber mill workers, they wanted a place to drink. It's very important. You must have a place to drink. So, what Jack Dayton said was, if you gentlemen create me a saloon, I will give you all the whiskey you can drink from this barrel once the job is done. So with that being said, it took them 24 hours to complete the saloon. They did not waste a single second building it. And they gave him the nickname Gassy Jack. Gassy is a term meaning uh, very talkative, very full of energy, has a lot of gas to burn. So they named him Gassy Jack. They'd say, let's go to Gassy Jack's for a drink. Let's go to Gassy's Town, which was later shortened to Gas Town. This is officially the oldest intersection in the city. This is Maple Tree Square. Right there to the left, you can see Gassy Jack standing on his whiskey barrel. Now the entire uh, city was a lumber town, so of course that being said, you can imagine they would build everything out of wood. There was a great fire that came in and burned down the entire city, which is why his saloon is not standing there. If anyone wants to explore gas down here a little bit, you can hop off here. This is our first stop. This is right in front of the old spaghetti factory. If anyone wants to hop off here. Our next stop coming up will be at our welcome center where we may ask you to